Yo, good evening dudes, hope you're doing well. Welcome back for more Dragon's Dogma 2. I had a really good time playing this game yesterday. So we're going to play some more today. We are playing as a thief, so we're just going around all stabby stabby with the knives. It's been fun. Kind of zooming around. Let's load into the game. Where did we leave off? Oh right, monster calling. Deal with the monster threats. There's some different monster threats in different parts of the map. We're going to go... Check those out and uh, take out the monsters. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, man. Let's take a look at the map. We need to go west and southwest. Um, How do I zoom out? Oh, I can't zoom out any further than what I am. Ooh, I don't... Oh, that map is so... Wait, there's like three different types of maps in this game. It's so odd. Anyway, we're going to head over to this one first. Let's head west, shall we? To the west. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming by once again today. My name is Josh, and I will and be your host for this evening. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during... Hey, Richard. Hey, Winter. Hey, Andre. Martin. Miss Bradica. Mesmer. Cassandra. Mifid Blue. Huai Dang. Cubish Girl. Puck Plays. What's going on, folks? How we doing? Omi Gun, hello. Tuning in to support. If I haven't played the game yet, so I don't want any spoilers. Ah, spoilers are gonna are the bane of my existence. Got your hoodie on for good luck with the fire giant. I can get halfway. Hey, best of luck. As long as you keep That's trying and keep learning, you'll get greetings. there. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. All right, more strawberries. More strawberries. All right, am I going the right way? I am. Okay, let's just uh, follow this path west, shall we? Come with me. Hey, Emmer. Hey, Majin Kai. Moving right now. Internet's not working, so for now, I'm going to watch you on my phone. Sorry, the internet's not working, but hey, you're going out of your way to be here anyway, man. I hope the move is going all right. I know moving can be a pain in the ass. What is this guy? Oh. Oh, is it armored cyclops? Oof, I can't see. Oh yeah, I, I bounce right off of him if I hit the armored spots. Oh, I just broke the armor on his leg. I actually do great damage. Time to climb. Where am I? I can't see. Stab him in the brain. Stab him in the brain. Oof. All right, he shook me off. I did a ton of damage, though. That was good. Did he just throw Billy? <laughs> oh no, Billy's still on him. Look at him. Billy's stabbing away. Look out to oh! Get out of there. Nice dodge. Oh, he's frozen. And dead. Hell yeah. This game reminds me so much of Monster Hunter. I can't wait for the next Monster Hunter game, guys. I cannot wait. 
Like, these fights remind me of just some, like, faster-paced Monster Hunter stuff. That's so fun, man. What's up, Screamer? How you doing? I really enjoy those big fights. I'm sure it'll get tedious fighting, like, the same thing over and over again, but I know there's more monsters in the game. There's, like, griffins and dragons. There's also, like, minotaurs, stuff like that. So I'm expecting more at some point. It's just, you know... It's a good time, man. You play this on the Xbox Series X? Uh, yes, it is on Xbox. Yeah. Oh, I just keep dodging back into the knives. What are you guys fighting? Oh. <laughs> I don't even know where that guy went and he just, he just got yeeted. Where'd he go? Oh, hey, look at that, a bug. Golden Trove Beetle. These trove beetles are big because they increase our max carrying capacity. The more I get, the better. That was superb, Yo, high five. Yo, high five, dude. What up, RFI? Is Dragon's Dogma 2 as good as you hoped? I, I'm i really enjoying it. If I'm being completely honest, I am having an absolute blast with this, yes. Is it as good as I hoped? I can't say because I've not experienced a massive margin of the game yet. I've only played for four hours. When it comes to a game like this... With how much content they overall have, you need more than four hours to get a full scale of things. But I can tell you that as of this point, four hours in, I am having a blast, yes. Oh, <laughs> that ice spell is insane. Oh my god. Is there more? There is. And, you know, it makes sense that it does have a lot of similarities when it comes to these fights as uh, with Monster Hunter. But I am playing Thief, right? So it is much faster paced than everything else. All of the other classes are a lot slower. They don't have, like, these dashes like I do. They don't have, you know, this stuff. So this character is much faster paced. But even then, it still reminds me of a, a very... It has a lot of similarities in the big fights with Monster Hunter, and I love that so much. Especially the enemies with multiple health bars, man. It's just so gratifying. And the way the combat works, like, every attack feels so weighty. It, you can feel the impact, and I love that so much. Yeah, we got Keldy late last night. The other archer we uh, dismissed because he was only, like, level 3. Whereas we're, like, in the, uh, the teens already. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Hey, Itachi. The only thing that really upsets me about this game overall, like truly, is the microtransaction shit. Like that should have never happened. I grant you fire as well. What happens when that Billy dies? Um we have There's to go no resummon him. You might say otherwise. No doubt. This triumph will spur us into the next. All right, this is one of the locations, I believe. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, this is one of the main locations for this quest. Goblins, master. I knew you would prevail, master. Let us not get ahead Ooh. of ourselves. The oh, he's already continues. dead. Oh, nice turn. Oh my god. That was insanely brutal. You see what I did to that guy? Holy. Let me toss some of these items over the other way to the other guy. The other men. 
Sorry, Billy. You are kind of my, uh, my mule. Sorry about that. What are microtransactions? They are, um, it's basically small. And they're not always small, but they're like these monetized things that will grant you certain bonuses in the game. Most of the time in a lot of games, they're cosmetic, but in other times, they'll, they'll, you know, have some type of functionality. In this game's regard, the functionality are things like uh, tools for fast traveling and stuff. It's kind of annoying that it exists. Especially when you have to buy a license to play the game anyway. If it were free to play, it would be completely different. Even then, I don't like more microtransactions, but at least it's more forgivable. We gotta go in that cave. Oh boy. Anyway, let's get uh, full health going here. Where's my mage? There you are. Thanks, Prissy. Alright, let's continue in. Hey, damp squib, how you doing? A cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? Of course. What I wouldn't give for a map. I will say the FOV is kind of lackluster too. I end up losing my character quite a lot. Oh my god, dude. I just want to throw the rock. Come here. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's already dead. You guys killed him already. I'm taking that boulder with me. That's a nice boulder. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. Hold on, let's get some heals going. How might I be obeyed? Hey Melg, how you doing? You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Hey thanks, dude. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. <laughs> yeah. God damn. God damn. No, no, you don't have to use them at all. Ooh, we found the two-hander. Vocation, frustration, you found a great sword. We can actually uh, get the warrior thing going now if I want to. That's good. But no, you don't, you don't have to buy the microtransactions in any way, shape, or form to make progress in this game. Not at all. It doesn't forgive uh, the idea that they exist, though. They simply shouldn't be there. Hey, sounds good, Cole. Thank you for coming by, man. Hope work is treating you well. As a matter of fact, every master I've ever served has faded to me. Oh! One party I joined consisted only of trained specialists. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Oh my god. That guy's insides just became his outsides. Hey, Claire. And we got a larger room over there. Here we go again. If we must. Let us finish this quick. Yes, Puck. That's specifically for the warrior class. I just found my first two-handed sword. Those exist specifically for that class. They are in this game. Right. 
Signs of Valor. Oh, yeah? Some new knives? Are they better? They are better. Less knockdown power, but... Who's counting knockdown power right now, you know? Who's doing that? Let me give this to Billy for now. I'm going to reduce a lot of my weights. We'll pass these over to... Keldy, I guess, just to kind of lower my weight more. Aptly said. You rid Trovo Mine of Goblins. Good stuff. Ooh, a Fairy Stone. So a Fairy Stone that I just got, that is one of the items that you can buy for like 2 or $3 via microtransactions. They allow fast travel. So it, that, that's a thing there. That's, that's one of the things. Oh, God, there's a lot more down below. We are not done here. It... it it is, did it just say it succeeded? I am not successful here. I mean, the quest marker is gone, but there's still a lot more goblins down below. Yes, thank you for leaving a like on the video, guys. It does help in a big way. If you'd like to see more of this game and more streams, leave a like. It helps me, uh, you know, identify what you guys are enjoying. So if you are enjoying your time here, leave a like a Reno. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Dark Souls Arch Throne mod video was really enjoyable. I'm glad you liked it, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a blast playing it. I uh, I really like the format of it, too. The way I put the video together. Screamer, did you take a look at the, uh, the mod Discord chat earlier, by chance? Let me tell you, man. Without going into detail, it is wonderful. Oh, please don't faceplant. I feared we might never escape that face. If I were meant to spend my days in darkness, I'd have been born a mole. I quite agree. Now, we identified another way out, but I need to go back inside. I'm nervous. Would you think about it like this, Screamer? Um... There's a certain verification that needs to happen before uploads can happen on that site, right? I just got to get to Discord. I'm currently gaming on my PC. I see you, dude. I see you. See, I just don't agree, Itachi. I just don't agree. I don't think it's boring because of the style. I like the style a lot. I don't know if there's a way down from here aside from just jumping in, but like jumping in is obviously going to kill me. What bothersome boar put a chest all the way over there? Tis a vexing thing to see it so plainly and yet be unable to open it. I can't get to it from here. I did see another path back further though. Maybe we go investigate that. Jump? No, that jump is death. Fiend unknown is the most perilous. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Okay, so that's the way we went before. Let's go down this path instead and see if it leads down. Ooh, it does. Look at that. Oh! I just jumped right into that. Oh my hobgoblin, dude. Billy, get up there. All right, now heal me, lady. Yeah, my armor does look a little like Patch's armor. It is largely leather and chainmail. Okay, yeah, we're down here now. Perfect. Rangers, tights. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. 
No harm in picking a few. Yeah, the companions do yap a lot. I kind of wish there was a way to tone it back, but I don't see any options for that anywhere. Like, I don't mind them talking every so often, but they are yapping a lot in this game. Some of it's actually useful, though, to be fair. What makes graphics outstanding versus average? I would say texture quality, lighting quality, and shadow quality. You know, the three things that take up the most VRAM. Yo, Isaac, they gave a $5. Downloaded the game hours before being off work yesterday. Still haven't played yet because I can't decide what vocation to play. The good news, Isaac, is that you have every access to every vocation in the game. As you progress, you'll find different ways to be able to change it up. So whenever you're feeling like a, a different mood, you're good to go. Oh, there's the Arches Staff. So now I can, like I just gained access to the Sorcerer class because I found that. Now I have access to two more vocations right there. Two more classes. So you find stuff that opens up more access as well as you when you level up your uh, your vocation level, you gain access to more, I don't want to say more powerful, but more specific classes. Thanks for the five, man. Just tell him to shut up. Yeah, dude, stop yapping. I grant you fire's blaze. We mastered that attack. <laughs> we would be invincible. Imagine the upper body strength it takes to be able to pull off that maneuver. Oh, he's seeping. He's seepy boy. You want some stabs? Man was just taking a nap, and I ruined it. Ring of cooling. I'm assuming that makes it so I have fire resistance. Reduces damage taken from fire attacks, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yes, <dude. laughs> Alright, those pants are a little weird for me. I'll tell you what, let's give them to Keldy since she's a, a ranger anyway. Change the pawn's equipment. The previously equipped items will be returned to the pawn's master, and any newly equipped items will be gifted to the pawn's master when the pawn is dismissed. Sure, why not? There you go. Fits her outfit much more than mine. How fun is the thief so far? It is a blast. Zooming around. It is the only character that can dash around like this. No others can. It was definitely the fastest paced vocation. Can't stand there's no new game. What's the reason for that? I know. I don't like that either. But I will say the original Dragon's Dogma was like that as well. Something you can do to get around it though, Screamer, is just turn off your uh, cloud saves. So that way they save locally. And then you can actually go into the Steam files and remove your save file from there. And if you do that, you can start up a new one. And then you can just kind of like keep a folder somewhere else with the uh, the other save so that way you can just kind of throw it back in there whenever you'd like the, the first game was the very same way i tested it last night as well it does work still so Let's 
I'm not making excuses for them. I'm just giving you a workaround. Because I had to do the same thing for the first game. Oh, I missed the rock. It is 70 USD. Yeah. What up, Josh? So close. We should be able oh, no. to move this Oh, no. I want to get up there. There's stuff to mine. I say we give it a push and see what happens. Bruh. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? All right, I guess I can't get up there that way. Maybe we get over there this way then. Josh enjoyed the fantasy being tall. Oh, dude, my character is short as hell in this game. What do you mean? My character is very small. Like, look. Look how tall I am. <laughs> look at me next to Billy. Billy's like 50% tall. 50% taller than I am, rather. Words. Hey, Anne Mary. Alright, this just came full circle this way, so I think that we are officially done with this area. Aside from a little path right there. I gotta go investigate that. I can't leave that in fog of war. What if there's a chest there? You know? Like, what if? I will say we got the two important items down this way. We got the two-handed sword and the sorcerer staff. I'm pretty pleased. I am pleased. No, well, nothing more there. All right. Okay, then. Yep, we already got that. Okay. Doing thumbnail art in house? No, I uh, I have a thumbnail artist that I work with. I am not a talented illustrator of any. <laughs> I am not artistically inclined in any way, shape, or form. Wish I was. Alright, that goes down the other way. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and make our way south to the other main objective. Uh, I'll be playing Thief for a while, Isaac, and then if the mood strikes or I want to try something else, I just will at that time. I'm not uh, trying to, like, showcase all of them or anything. <laughs> yes, Gramer, and, you know, like, right away, you can just kind of, like, You're welcome to take whatever you like from my try these other things and see how it works for you, and if you enjoy it, then, you know, as long as you're under two hours, you're good to go. All right, where do we got to go? Back east, get on the main road, and then south. Hey, Captain, they give the 20 Danish. Do you like DD2? I do. And is Billy behaving? He's I'll doing his best. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Billy's doing his best out here. Game pay to win? No. It has microtransactions, but it is not required in any way, shape, or form to actually play the game. I'm not defending the microtransactions, but people that are saying the game is pay to win are just saying that because they're trying to be spiteful or they have a deep misunderstanding of how the game works. Again, not defending it, just stating the rather 
obvious findings I've had so far in my about four and a half hours of the game so far. Is Billy going to be a warrior? I'm thinking about making him a warrior, yeah. Hello there. Hey, have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. What you got? Rattler rock scale, wakestone shard. I'll tell you what. How about you take a gander at my wares? Take a look at what I'm selling. All right, never mind. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, now we have this campfire. Let's go ahead and make use of it. I mean, I, that's exactly what I'm saying, Coco. That I completely agree. They shouldn't have added microtransactions at all. I completely agree. But again, like I explained yesterday, that doesn't mean that your opinion can't be deeper than that. It's not black and white, right? You can you can despise aspects of a game, but still enjoy the game overall. You know. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. I quite agree. At best, we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Okay. We have found a material. Pity wards. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Uh huh. Nice, some healing. Any merit to being a fighter arisen over upgrading to a warrior? Warriors don't get shields, team. whereas and fighters do. Every, every class offers something that other classes do not get. So in that case, because you're using a two-handed weapon, you don't have a shield. This means that as well, means that you can't do like shield bashing, you can't do parrying, stuff like that. What the dog doing? What the dog doing? Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I'll not take that from you. We've a choice of where to go. But how to know the path best? Good night, Andre. Thanks for stopping by. We decide based on our experience or trust to our instincts. Uh, these bad guys they look like bad guys to me. No. Oh, wait. What's the problem here? Why are you... Why are you angry? You good? Let's keep going south. Yo, Captain, thank you for the 30 Danish with the rock on hand. Let's go, dude. The devil horns. Thanks for the 30 Danish, man. Appreciate it loads. Tiny warriors are viable. The idea of um, height, from what I can tell so far, just kind of leads to how much you can carry, which probably means that it affects your stamina as well in some fashion. Again, that guy's insides became his outsides. A flawless execution. Would that we might always be so in step, eh? I grant you boring flame. 
I'm gonna go around in case there's any like people hiding back here. There is. Oof. so hard to hit that attack on smaller enemies. Also, I did see the, uh, the basements for the cellar. It's hidden away in here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Uh, buddy, the hell you doing? Oh, that's a straight up zombie. What the? That's new. <laughs> yeah, so the FOV is definitely still a problem here. Look at that hidden room. Are you okay? Or nope, you're a zombie as well. All right, you're not okay. Oh no, 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 let go! Yeah. The FOV is a problem, I will say. Trying to do some of my, like, grander attacks just makes the screen go nuts. I just felt the ground shake. Why? You're well fond of picking things up, Putrid gold you? tooth. Love that. What up, Steve? Thanks for the raid, dude. Sorry, I was in the middle of a fight there. Going crazy, spinning like Sanic. Thanks for the raid, man. Thanks for sending your friends over my way. It means a lot. I appreciate it, bud. No, oh, climb. Loving this game? It's been a blast, man. I've been having a good time, too. I don't think there's an FOV setting. No. Nope. No FOV setting here. Unfortunate. There's camera pushback. Where do I find camera pushback? Unless you mean camera pushback is something that happens momentarily in certain areas. Because I have seen that. What up, Trippy Soul? How the game? Having a good time with it, Kuda. No, not in display. Do, 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 do. Go to camera? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yes. Ugh. Okay, it's not much, but it's something. That's better. Okay, that again, it's not amazing, but that is marginally better. Thank you guys. I'll gather this. It might be of it's... use. Yeah. That's nice. I'm having a good time with the nades. I'm having fun. A nice quaint half demolished town and did my game just crash <laughs> I think my game might have just crashed son of a bitch HP love shaft what up can't see your health and stamina bars in the top left corner because they're not in the top left corner they happen on the bottom middle of the screen during combat 
Okay, if you're going to crash, please crash all the way so I can actually reload the game, please. Hello? Game? Please respond. This is my second crash that I've had. I had a crash yesterday, and I have a crash now. Of course, it looks like my guy has a stomach ache all the while, too. All right, guys, hold on a second. Task manager, Dragon's Dogma 2, end task. I had to suffocate it, I'm sorry. No problem, Blue. It had to be suffocated, I'm sorry. It just, uh, was not doing anything. Yeah, the ma the wizards and sorcerers do do some insane things for sure. I would say the most unremarkable class that I've seen so far is warrior, but still, there's still something so it has its own charm just being able to wield a massive weapon, you know. So that that by itself does has have its own charm. All right, well, we aren't pushed too far back. This is fine. Too many of these. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? Oh, Three thousand two hundred well big bucks. Most Hello. Impressive. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. Today is tamale day. Oh yeah. I don't remember the last time I had a tamale. It's been ages. Did I save my camera pushback option? It did. Today be in. Alright. Do not crash in the same way you just did. Just gonna skip this. Alright, we're good. What up, Panda? Yoink. Remember, folks, when you find these golden trove bugs, use them. They permanently add to your carrying weight. It's glorious. Or what do we have in this town here? What do we have? Old lighthouse, Bayside home. I don't know what this bench is. Maybe they're just sitting apparatuses. Yeah, they're just for sitting. You can pass the time on them. All right. So where's my objective then? To the south. Let's go. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. <laughs> yes, quite, yes. Uh, well. Don't see anything on top of this hill. Which means there's probably a cave underneath. If only there was a safe way down from here. And we got like a hang glider or something that I can borrow. Oh, you know what? We're going for this. I'm doing it. Very good. Um, Is the thing that I'm hunting in the water? Um, hmm, people are complaining about lizards. Let me just use this real quick. 
There you go. We can't go in the water because the red shit's gonna happen. So they must be like underground. Oh, Aha. You've come to a dangerous place. Aha. The scaly beasts make this their den. We've been dispatched to cull them. Ah, oh, must be Saurians, huh? A small force ventured inside. Though I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. Seems the battle is hard won. I'll not stop you if you wish to explore, but don't look for my aid if aught goes awry. Is this really as microtransaction heavy as they say? There are microtransactions, but there's literally zero need to buy any of them. You can play the game just fine without them. It sucks that they exist. I'll say that till I'm blue in the face. But they are not required to play the game in any way, shape, or form. If they were required, I wouldn't be here playing the game now. Okay. Shall we turn on the nightlights? Shred carefully. One never can be too cautious. Violin. We're here. Let's find the next branch in an Hold on, I got more ammo. Two more rounds. Yeah. I'm so good at this game. Nice. Oh my god, I can't see. Is he dead? Oh yeah, he's dead. Good job, everyone. I am in Good job. Debt, sir. Thanks to your valor, I shall live. Hey, Barge. You're calling? You're turning me into a drinking game next week? Oh yeah? What are the rules? Let's get rid of this fog of war here. There we go. Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. Be sure to keep your wits about you. I tell you what, you drop a heal so everyone can get back to full health, and then let me exchange some items here. Let me give the arrows to our archer. Let's give the copper ore over to Billy. Billy the mule. Let's give, what does this do? Invoke Solemnity, a silencing spell. Let's give those to Billy as well. Billy's also very heavy again. I kind of feel bad. I'm sorry you're kind of my mule, Billy. I'm sorry. Billy is a warrior. A champion. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. I'm taking this boulder with me. Damn, that guy can throw. It's always fun to me, funny to me how well rocks can be just tossed around in video games. Try and do that in real life and you'll hurt yourself in an instant. Ooh, some gold. Nice. Need a great sword so I can go warrior? I actually just found it earlier. Just found my first two-hander. He stole my item. Son of a bitch. Alright, more dudes up there. Alright, I'm ignoring the boulder now. Yeah, there's some kind of fight going on. I hope I missed. Well 
Yo, Billy's level 14. Let's go. Our task is complete. Let's go, dude. Aptly said. Man, so strong picking up that boulder. He really is, dude. And want some scrambled lizard eggs? Serpentine circlets. Let's take a peek. Wards against the inversion repulsion of magical energies. Well, Panacea. You're not one of ours. Have you come to save us? Yeah. Forgive me. I cannot seem to walk of my own accord just now. Would you aid me in reaching the entrance? Um. You're just gonna follow me then? All right, I mean, I'm come. Come with me, dude. We're going deeper. I'm not going to the entrance. We're going deeper. We have some architecture here. Do the Saurians have like a secret underground society? Ooh, I hear something big, I think. Why did this sound like... It is right there. I knew I heard you. Oh, the damage. Game. Why? Come on, dude. I just want to play the game. I just want to play the game, guys. That's all I want. Hey, does anyone know uh, how much it costs to get to the uh, the anti-crash microtransaction? Anyone know? Apparently, one-shotting that guy makes the game crash. Fourteen ninety-nine. All right. I just want to play the game. You would think buying the game for $70 would make it so, like, you could just run the game, you know? Especially on a rig like mine. You would think. But, uh, you know. What do I know? All right, so don't uh, don't one shot that guy, I guess. You're not one of ours. Forgive oh, good. We barely lost anything. Aid me in I think it's it. I think it does like a save after every fight. Yeah, maybe I should put my FOV back to the. If it crashes again, I will reduce uh, the FOV. I will. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Eleven twenty. This is a different path than the one I just took. But yeah, I will uh, change it back if I crash again. Hey, have some stabs. Yo, high five, brother. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Playing on PC? Yes. <laughs> I uh, I refuse to play games in 30 FPS in the year of our Lord 2024. I refuse. My master has yet to even discover it. If I have to go through crashing and fine-tune things on the way, then that's fine. But I refuse to play in 30 FPS in the year of 2024. No freaking way.
I do have ray tracing on, yeah. Exclamation mark specs, Jason. We might have need of it. And back into heavy territory once again. The fiend unknown is the most perilous. Pray speak up. Should you notice? No Bloodborne. I love Bloodborne, but I don't think I'll ever play it again until I can play it again in 60 FPS. I love the game. It is one of From Software's best, but I just cannot play it at 30 FPS. Ah. Surprised that did not make me face plant. All right, this guy's still following me. Are you still with me, bud? I don't know if that guy is still with me. I don't see him. Nope, I think I lost him. Whoops. Breathe. <laughs> I remember that guy, yeah. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early the oh my the god, that hurt my everything, sir. This should help. I got you by his place. You guys ever stab a lizard right in the ass? Because I have. Hey, Naman Gupta, how you well doing? Fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. I right, remember there's a Saurian on the wall up here. I didn't one-shot him that time. <laughs> and look, my game didn't crash. Would you believe it? Oh. Watch Steve grab a Psychops by the balls and pull. Yeah, you can do some real fun stuff. Look, Master, a treasure chest. I see it, Billy. We Thank you. Find a way to reach it. Well, I reached it, so I think we're okay. Thanks, Billy. Everyone say thanks, Billy. Doing right, Ahmad. How are you? What up, Justin? How have you been, dude? Saurian scale cape. Oh, yeah? Ooh. Looking good. All right, tell you what. We're going to give this one over to Billy. That way, Billy can uh, throw it on. There you go, bud. Oh, yeah. Billy kind of looking like a uh, Stormvale soldier, isn't he? Kind of looking like a Stormvale soldier over there. Oof. My pack's grown rather heavy. Let's see. What can we do without?
Well, not seeing much of anything else to do down here. This uh, giant gate is blocked off. No climbing. I can't tell if there's more down that way. It doesn't look like it. I kind of see a solid wall. We are fortunate indeed. This is a rare find. Okay. I dare say the quandary. Let's go ahead and spread these items out. I need to start using the other guys as well. What do I have on me that's really weighing me down? I think it's the Grievous Horns and the Two-Ender Sword. Wait, where is the Two-Ender Sword? Did I give it to Billy? I did. Okay. Alright. Of, of what to do with it is half the joy. Where'd you get that little cape from? I just found it in this chest down here. In that chest right there. Now, I'm going to remain a frontline thief. I don't like the idea of stealthing around so much. I just like to get in there and do massive damage. Unless I find perks where sneak attack will end up doing, you know, triple the amount of damage on initial strike or something. Strange. I just don't want to see the value. This place is not as I remember it. What could be the cause? This demands further investigation. Let me look at the map here. Well... I'm not really seeing... Oh, well, the quest objective is done, so I guess we can just return to town. I'm tempted to use a fairy stone, because I got like three or four at this point, but I'm going to hold on to them. Because I know I'm going to go larger distances away from a main town that I'll want to use them in the future. I wonder if that other guy got out. No, uh, Billy is not using a two-handed sword right now. He is just using a standard uh, one-hander. He just has the two-hander in his pocket. It is currently a quest item. Did I go the wrong way? Water is nigh I did. In this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurer's trade. Alright, we're on the path. Getting lost in a cave. Have any of you guys ever been inside a cave? Like a, like a very deep cave? I've been inside like basic caves. Where I grew up in New York, there's a bunch of uh, waterfalls and caves and stuff. But have you ever been inside like a really deep one? I refuse to go in them. The idea horrifies me. But in a video game, I'm all about it. Hey, that guy did get out. Good on you, Went brother. There to save my fellow soldiers. Well, now. I underestimated you, friend. I shall send word of your deeds to the captain. You've done well this day. I thank you. No problemo, bud. Oh, I'm saved. You have my gratitude, friend. What? You're welcome. Hold, sir. Hey. I'd rethink pressing onward if I were you. 
The village is crawling with Saurians. Well, it's what I'm here for. I'll take care of it. Forgive me. I didn't mean to startle you. I used to call this place home, you see, in times more peaceful. Hmm. You're the Arisen, are you? Well, we were hoping to reclaim our village, but it doesn't seem we'll have much luck. We fled when the dragon attacked some days past, thinking we'd return once the baleful thing was gone. Easier said than done, clearly. In our absence, a bosk of Saurians have made our homes their own. What are we to do? The guards not like to send soldiers all the way out here. Ah, but mayhap they needn't at all. You are the Arisen, I. Please, sir. Do I've something. got it, dude. I've got it. I get it. A bosk of Saurians has made its nest within the village. But not it's what I'm here to do. Show me the Saurians, and I'll show you a bunch of dead Saurians. Man, the flame daggers are so good. Are there more? There's only two? Is the deed done, good arisen? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you shall all be able to return to our homes at last. I could hardly wait to bring these tidings to the other villagers. I dare say we'll have this place livable again ere long. I cannot thank you enough. Long will you be known as a friend to our village. If you happen to pass by, do come visit us, won't you? I should like to you oh, Okay, dude, we're being attacked by a Saurian right now, okay? <laughs> Man's just yapping over here, and I'm trying to, like, defend myself. What you got? Yeah, so you can buy fairy stones from these people as well. In my humble... Here, buy. Have some rotten stuff. Uh, I forgot I got this shield. Maybe I should give that to my fighter. Much obliged, sir. Much obliged. It is a little bit better. Okay, cool. Alright. It's time to go back to town. Surely it'll be a nice, clean, very quick path all the way back, right? Surely. Also, I should probably investigate the town. There's probably items hidden about. <laughs> it's... It it's not bad enough that they're kind of downtrodden, like their village was taken over by Saurians for a little while. Now I'm here just picking through the remains. This game kept crashing on my PS5. Yeah, I get a lot of crashes myself, too. I've had three so far. But we'll say it seems stable now. I've not crashed in a bit. We'll see how it stays, though. We'll see. It's very unfortunate, man. Companies like Capcom, they have a ton of resources, a ton of employees, you know? Like, if the game isn't stable, it sucks to do so, but trust me when I say, I'm pretty sure everyone at the end of the day would rather see the game delayed and then stabilized rather than have a poor launch. Oh my god, pick up the money. Put the money in my pocket, please. Break the table. I can't break the table. Oh my god. Almost 3,000 gold sitting there, too. Hey, Thunder God. Alright, I don't see anything else here. Now... Yeah, I've seen everything there is to see here, I think. I think we just kind of head back to... The city. Later, Puck. What up, Devious? How you doing? 
30 FPS isn't that bad. See, I just like, I, I can't. I just draw a hard line with, with the way that with how powerful these uh, the hardware is. I just don't find 30 FPS excusable. Our respective abilities are unique as well. I just I don't I can't. Each of us own our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. That is one concession I just will not make. Oh, we have the, uh, the slime. Greenish slime. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elephant. The thing about the slimes is they drain the hell out of your stamina when you uh, when they cover the cover you. There we go. Wait, I guess I'm just at the point where, like, I would rather just straight up not play a game than play it in 30 FPS. I don't know if that's a weird line to draw, but I just, I refuse to play 30 FPS stuff anymore. I can't. We have found a material. Yo, I'll grin on. Thank you for 22 months of Tier 2 membership. If one person comments Milk Turtle, I'll gift one sub. Oh, baby. Surely someone will say Milk Turtle. Ooh, what's this? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. Oh, that's an ogre. We have an ogre, gamers. Oh god. How'd I get up there? Going up. Stab his brain. Oh. Help me. Oh, healer person, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yo, get him, Billy. Let's go. Oh, that was sick. Stab him in the face. Stab his face so many times. Thank you for the gifted member, dude. I appreciate it loads. Thank you, man. Yo, those big fights are so sick. I love that. I love that. Did the other person survive? There was like a random archer here getting beat up. Did she live? Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? 
I don't see her body unless she became an instant skeleton. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Did she just bail? I've just had a thought. Every master I've ever served has favored different tactics. One party I joined consisted only of Oh sessions. my god, sir. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly. Some heals will be sick. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Bad performance is worse for sales and reputation than a delay? Yes. Precisely. Take the time to put the game together in a way that'll be something that people can look fondly upon and. Reputation will rebuild itself. Quality gameplay is what people want. Give that to them, and they will buy the game. That's, you know. It's one thing if you announce a game and then just, like, keep delaying it. If you delay it, like, three times or so, then obviously it's a bit of a different risk, right? But if you have to delay it, you know, just once or twice, then, you know. The mass majority of people will be understanding. Shade Walker's neck wrap. Neat. Have you All right, Billy, you want this other one, man? You want this other one, man? I'll give it to you. Here. Billy is almost over encumbered. <laughs> Gotten something there he is. Look at them. Billy. You're looking rather Look lost. at him. Dobby's wearing a sweater, too. Hi, bub. Hi, buddy. <laughs> that was Dobby. Dobby said hello. All right. Love high-fiving bonds after battle, yeah. It is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. At last, a chance. Ah, surely we can get up there. Skills, if you allow it, master. I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. Yes, go. Show me how to get there. Yes, this is what we need. Yes! Oh, my character just, like, became two for a moment there. That's why I got that scale. Hell yeah, 1,400 Gs. Also, we got to poison this guy. Everyone to me. Though I don't know if they'll be able to get up here. Looks like they're going all the way around. Yeah, there you go. Where the Saurians? Fire won't do much good here. Best to try a different. These are the poisonous ones. Okay, good stuff. Um, that's not good. That's not good at all. Cover me! Uh, you're not covering me very well.
Come on, revive. I think that guy got stuck. Seems we bit off more than we can chew this time. Oh, there's the damage. down some heels. Well, that got a little precarious, but uh, we got through it. We got through it. Some tough enemies the through this little area. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. Yeah, it's just like an alternate path that leads us eventually back to the main road. To me. As long as we keep going this way, we'll be able to get there. And there is a lot of experience going this way too, so we may as well just do it. I hear another Saurian. There you are. No stab him! The damage that you can do when you stab them when they're on the ground is absolutely nuts. like an execution move. So strong. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Well and true. We well and true. To become complacent. I go on to you pouring flame. What is this glow? Ah, it's one of these tokens. Oh, now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Who's your main pawn? Billy. This guy. The big man. Another now, cube? I, I, I want to say gelatinous cube. It's, they're slimes, not cubes. I just see gel, like gelatinous figure, and I'm like, ooh, gelatinous cube. Can you tell him a D&D &D guy? No, that's not a cube in any way, shape, or form. It's just gelatinous. Must be a campfire right here. Yep. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. You know what is something that I can appreciate about this game? Notice how... Let me put my weapons away. Notice how when I'm sprinting, if I draw my weapons, I don't slow down. I just keep moving. I'm still sprinting. And because I'm still sprinting, I can put them away while I'm sprinting as well. A lot of games will actually make your character slow down when you're drawing and uh, sheathing your weapons. This game, you just get to sprint. I like that. I like that very much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is why we're exploring, finding all this stuff. Very good.
Tis a chest. I shall take a look inside. Are you just running for it, Prissy? You just going for it? You have to go all the way around to get to it, man. What's up there? I can't make much out from here. Hey, Billy, can you, uh... It will be worth the climb. At last, a chance to make full use of my skills. Yeah, come here. If you'll allow it, Master. Yep. I expect you'll be wanting my come on. assistance. I want you to launch me up there, big come. guy. Let me grant you wings. Ooh. Yes. Just God, I love that. that of yours. Hold still. It will be over in a moment. There, Master. Saurians. This is a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secrets to the patient observer. Ice is our ally against such fiends. That was incredible. Never have I encountered such uh -huh. strategy. Aha. Uh -huh. A curative ought to do the trick. Kill him. Yes, Billy, stop but... running. Do you try not to catch cold? Let my magic infuse your weapons with the fury of the elephant. What was that? Oh. Uh, I've not fought this before. Uh, is it still here? <laughs> I can't see it. Alright, that's one of them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just straight up 30 RC dropped out of it. We'll take it. We will take it. Another one of these ghost things up here. Billy's throwing boulders at the ghost. It's weird. They kind of phase into the mountain. Come on. I need to hit it. There it is. Once I land that, it does big damage. It's kind of difficult to. They do, Isaac, yeah. The whole reason I wanted a uh Let me get that. A warrior pawn is to just make it so I have like a tank around. Uh hey, you're just gonna walk by the zombie there, bud? Vocation rank up. We got goblins nearby. Where am I? Oh, just about on the main road here. That attack does big damage when you land it, right? Are there more? Oh. Let us see what you're made of. I didn't even see that guy.
Okay, Billy, vocation rank up. Let's go, dude. Did I play the first game? Yeah, I did, but ages and ages ago. When it first came out. Really liked it back then. I find the game so far. I'm having a good time with it. Thought the first one was a really unique experience. This is definitely more of the same with the first one. It plays very similarly, just with, you know, better graphics overall. Very much so a lot of the same idea. I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. If you refer to changes in the military's... What up, Bob? Nice to see you live tonight. Thanks for tuning in, man. We're on a sport team. One of the player's dad passed away this evening. I'm so sorry, dude. Won the local the finals, but man, does it feel shit tonight. That's rough, dude. I'm sorry. Congratulations on the win, but obviously... Condolences for the other side of it. That's rough. That's really rough, man. Alright, what do we need to do? Need to go turn turn in these things for the uh not the pawn guild, but vocation. Let's go right there. Can I leave a marker? Set waypoints. I don't know if that's gonna do anything for me. Oh, it shows up on the mini map, good. There's a ladder here. Kelly missing pants? No, she's wearing pants, it's just that's the style of the pants. Hey, right here. Rangers tights. He's wearing pants. They just have a lot of exposed area. <laughs> He's all cheeked up on a Saturday, dude. Weary at this hour, sir. You must have quite a tale. To much obliged. <laughs> dude, every time someone says much obliged, I think of Rick and Morty. Much obliged. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? It's Thursday afternoon? Well, it's not. It's Saturday, right? It is Saturday. Don't mess with me like that. All right, present the archer staff. Oh, -ho! you have procured an archer staff, I see. Upgrade your armor and weapons yet? Yeah, I've upgraded one of my previous sets of weapons, but... I, re I usually, when it comes to this game, or not, not not just game, but a lot of RPGs or any weapon that offers advancements, I don't really invest into early weapons because you just end up finding something that is naturally better. Most excellent. Like I did today already. It, however, if you wish to so while I did upgrade once, uh, it was just to see like how big the effect was. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous. You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now Yeah, Helm Splitter is absolutely nuts. It was really good in the previous game too. What's more, I bear glad tidings. Twould seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. But yeah, so uh, the answer to the question is, Talon, yes, but I've already found something better. So I'm just gonna wait on upgrading again for a while. I should be glad to join you, Arisen. Welcome. Okay. Have you business with the guild, sir? I sh Let's see if we got any new skills. And snare. Ooh. Cast out cords to snare targets and tug on them. Pull smaller, smaller target closer and topples larger targets that have been knocked off balance. I'm going to replace, replace powder charge because I'm not using it. I think this is much more effective. Cruelly stabs and gouges the target before drawing back a fearsomely powerful skill employable only while clinging to or pinning down a target. Inflicts greater harm on a foe's weak points. Uh, let's lose Biting Wind for this. Even though Biting Wind allows us to dash around everywhere, I do still have my normal dash too. Rob's the target of an item when attack connects. Sure. 
reduces stamina consumed when struggling in a foe's grip. Alright, Billy, let's take a look. What do we got? Gouging skewer is already equipped. Advanced form of springboard that the that uses the shield to launch allies further to greater heights at a decreased cost of stamina. Yep. Hmm. Buy those up and then few. Enables to carry additional weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is my mule right now, so. All right. Um so the unfortunate thing about this with the fighter is if I were to change him over to warrior, he would lose the uh, launch stuff. I really like the launch stuff, so I think I'm going to leave him as a fighter for a while. I think I might. It would be sick to see him with a huge sword too. Should be glad to assist you. Have you found any of the items we discussed? Yeah. Purchase. I've got a seeker's token. Give me that fairy stone. Do come again. Look as long as you please. Some of the music here reminds me of uh, The Witcher. All right, let me see. Quests. Call the goblins, drive a mine north of Vernmouth, aid the soldiers dispatch to call the Har village west of Vernmouth, and then locate the soldiers tasked with delivering freight on Vermin's eastern edge. All right, so we have to go east now. How much money do I have? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rest at the inn. I gained like 15k while we were out. Oops. Oh, you know what I need to do before anything else? Do I mess with storage at this guy? Yes. I have a bunch of healing as it is, so I'm not actively using a lot of this stuff right now. So I'm just going to put all this business away. Yeah, we do want that for the Blighted Debilitation. Cure Sleep. Use to cure Caught Fire. Health and Stamina. More Health and Stamina. Cure All Current Debilitations. That's nice. We got our Lantern. Bren, thank you for a gifted membership, bud. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, man. It's nice to have you guys all here for something that is different than uh, Elden Ring. I really appreciate you guys' company. Thanks for coming by. I shouldn't have put that wake stone away. Thank you guys for being here. Means a hell of a lot. Forgot I passed the stilettos to her. Okay. Quite a tale to tell. All right. Let's take a rest till Shall morning. Some rest, then. Yes, thank you for leaving a like on the video as well. We're almost at 200. That's pretty good. Thank you, guys. I recommend this game. I would recommend this game if you can get around the idea of the microtransactions. The microtransactions suck. Hold on. Okay. Thanks. Elijah Wood. Set a new pawn quest. Um, earn paw, earn badge. You know, Cyclops are pretty common for a lot of players at this point in the game, so let's just put that. And then gold for the reward.
Give him a nice passage five <laughs> passive five gold. Is that kind of dickish? <laughs> I mean, they're gonna have to fight them anyway, right? They're gonna encounter them. Doesn't matter. Thank you for having us. Thank you for streaming. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Toxic? Yeah, a little bit, I think. We need to head east. All the way up there. Looks like there's some stuff over here, but it ends. It does not go that way. I don't think there's going to be passage on this way, so I guess we just have to head north. So, let's head north then. Do I rather stream Elden Ring so far? No, I've streamed a ton of Elden Ring. I am completely okay with not streaming Elden Ring. I have played so much of that game, I'm very happy to move on and play other things. What up, Gera? How you doing, bud? What up, Psyduck? Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Man, this area out here, like, I, I still get nostalgia. Walking out of the city in the first game, like, just walking by this broken-down aqueduct, man. So much nostalgia. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? We cannot break it from this side. Perhaps. Yo, nice outfit. Nice outfit. What's my favorite character so far for you? I uh, I really like Thief. I'm having a blast with Thief, man. Like, just this attack by itself here. <laughs> That's so fun, Burke. I love it. Though, to be fair, I've barely tried the other classes. Holy... I can't wait to use gut and run. Oops. Oh, God damn. Oh, we get to try out Ensnare here. Hold on. Yo, Gara, thank you for a gifted membership to the channel, man. Went out to Robin. Thank you for that, dude. Oh, that's so good. Oh, hell yeah, I like that. Yep, Ensnare is good. <laughs> love that for us. I think we need to go this way across this bridge. Well, I mean, we could go all the way around, but I figure we go across this bridge, we go south on the path just to see what's down there, and then cross over this way. <laughs> You're right, Breadloaf, waiting for the goblins to talk about the absolutes. Guys following? Very good. So 
so close a call offers no solace. Really speed this. through a lot of these fights now. We are now. overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. I gotta pee so bad, but I'm having a hard time taking a break from this game. And so that's how you know I'm having a good time. When I am just like holding my bladder. Are you guys enemies? Oh, you are. Jesus. You know the rules. Get the mage first. Well, these archers can do a bit of a dance around too, can't they? Oh. Jesus, just let me hit you. Man, had a hard time dealing with these archers. Is I get a UTI? True, I should go use the bathroom. Start a diaper fund again? Yeah, any uh, any diaper funders out there? The Josh feed needs diapers, so he doesn't have to go to the bathroom? That's a terrible concept. I, I really hope there are no streamers out there that do that, other than those that need it, right? If they have that type of thing going on where they need it, that's fine. That's why they exist. But don't use them just to use them. Have some pride. <laughs> Opening locked doors. Let's see. Some doors that can be interacted with, but cannot be opened by keys or mechanisms. This can be merely this can merely be a matter of timing, and you may find that such doors will be open at a particular time of day or once you have progressed to a certain point in the story. Take note of any intriguing doors you encounter and try revisit revisiting them again at a later time. What's the priority? What's the kill priority? Mages. I would say mages and archers. Anything that can do ranged damage, you want to prioritize. I find that to be pretty much the standard for any, any game, though, really. How'd you guys open the door? Is something wrong with my hands? What the hell? An astounding discovery. Oh yeah. Indeed. Big money. Good on you for being so observant. Alright guys, listen. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pee. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Thank you for 200 likes on the video. It means a lot. Gary, thank you for the $2 as well. Juice coin for the diaper fund. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Gara. I appreciate it. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. 
We're back. Let's continue our quest, shall we? Anything in here? Anything cool? Aha. Aha. All right. Hoping that we find something large so I can use, uh, what's it called? Gut and run on it. I want to use gut and run on a Cyclops eyeball or something. Yeah, it's definitely a good looking game. This battle ought to be an We must not let down our guard. Well. Well done, Master. Yo, high five. What's going on over here? Uh, gut and run wasn't an option there, unfortunately, despite them being off balance. That's okay, though. Gotta learn the right moments to use it. Oh, there's more here than I thought. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magics. Wait right there. Wait, what happened there? Oh, you. Oh my god. God damn, Billy, what the? I think Billy took that personally. Did you see what he did that to that? Did it little up? Did it that guy? Words are hard. Monosaurians down there. Ah, you. Well, let's just walk away from these guys. I don't want to climb up there. Protect the shipment. Cut the fields down. Don't let them touch the shipment. Very good, very good. Hell yeah. I thank you for coming to our aid. That what up, Hamish? You saved us from. All right, report back to Captain Brandt. Nary a scratch on the wares to show for it. Captain Brandt. Is he going to be back at the inn? Well, is there anything else that I can go... Oh, you know what? Actually, this does connect. I thought maybe there'd be, like, a gap of water right here. So I can just... Well, maybe there's a mountain there. Either way, I'm going to see if we can get up here and just kind of explore all this way and go into the city that way. Just to clear that this up and do something more. Material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. <laughs> it's just, uh, it was a joke, Miss Bradica. I said I didn't want to go up and uh, get up and uh, go pee. I'm having fun with the game. <laughs> Must we pass this way? Surely there's a less perilous route. What do you mean? We already came through this way, man. Keeping an eye on either side. 
And I always gotta head straight west. Right you are. What are those guys called? Choppers, I think. Screw those guys. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. All right, yeah, there's a bit of a uh, cliff here. I don't really think this is going to be a good way up there, but let's see if we can find something. Hello there. Oh, sir. I can't see where I am. That guy didn't like me coming into his shack, apparently. Certainly arisen. How might I be obeyed? Chrissy, what the hell are you doing? Hey, this isn't Skyrim. Wait, whatever, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Can't climb the fence, man. Ah, there you go. Now heal me. This calls for a curative. Yes, it does. Thank you. Oh, she actually just gave me like a potion instead of casting the heal spell. Um. Based on what I'm seeing, I don't think there's going to be a way up there, but we can pass through this town and see if we see anything on our left to be able to climb up. What am I hearing? There's something large over here. I am intrigued and want to fight it. Is it above me? Oh! That's a griffin. Oh, apparently it's coming in. Oh boy, it's griffin time. Never mind. Oh, what the fuck? There's two. All right, gut and run did well there. Oh god, this is chaos. God. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Now that's damage. And that just took damage. <laughs> Come on, stamina. 
Come on, stamina. No, put me down. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm dead. What up, soul to bear? Hope you're doing well too, man. I, um, I was alive one minute and then the next I was used as like a, I don't know, he looked like he was just trying to like use me as a whip, like trying to use me as a weapon. Okay, so let's see if we can get these guys one at a time instead of both at, at the same time. I don't see the griffin in the sky right now. Where's the ogre? Oh, there he is. Sneaky man. Oh, Billy just got crushed. Whoa! <laughs> Yay! God damn! <laughs> oh, hey, I'm back. Hey, can I get some heals over here? Where's my healer at? Who's this guy? Where's the healer? Um, our healer seems to be missing. I guess I'll have to heal myself. What an inconvenience. <laughs> oh, now he's getting yeeted. Hey, who is this person? Sucks not having a mage on the team right now. Oh my god, Billy. Get him, baby. Hold tight. Right in the face, dude. See that damage? That was nuts. Um, I'm just kind of stuck in snaring him now. Don't worry, guys. I'll hold him. Cancel. Yeah, okay. That wasn't doing anything. Don't worry, I'm still here. Oof! Here I go again! No! <laughs> the good news is I landed in the water, so therefore I don't die. If I were to land on the ground, that would kill me. Uh, can you bring Keldy back, please? Where are you going with Keldy? What is this? You'll want to remove that slime, and soon. Oh, he's eating her. Can you maybe not? Let me just. Oh, that mat that damage was absolutely massive. See ya. Yo, uh, Gut and Run does insane damage.
But also, can I get an F in the chat for Prissy? Prissy seems to have not made it. Prissy seems to have, uh, seems to have died. I don't even see her remains anywhere. I have no idea where she went. She's just dead. That's it. F in the chat for Prissy. I'm not sure if you knew, but if you pause and consume healing when you have no life left, you revive? Oh, really? Is that intended? That seems kind of exploitative, yeah? Interesting. Maybe we'll try it out next time, see how it goes. Anyway, we got to fight something cool and use Got and Run. That was sick. The damage it did was huge. All I have to do is just crawl to their face. Though I will say I'm disappointed I didn't get to fight the Griffin more. So I was right. I was hearing something on the ground as well as in the sky simultaneously. Chrissy fell into the water. Oh, did she? I didn't even realize. Yeah, if a pawn falls into the water, they're gone. She gone, gone. She went back to the world when she came. So the way this game works, there's pawns. Billy is my main pawn. And what can happen is when you when people are playing the game, they can... Uh, hire different pawns like I, i've hired keldy and prissy that an archer and a mage for their abilities like range damage and healing and whatnot but these are actually pawns that I belong to other players to to the that they made and i'm bringing them into my world as a hired hired utility for my own squad prissy died trying to heal side. you sag altogether happy with this Sag, dude. Those big fights are a good time, though. I really enjoyed that. See a mage named Morgan that looks like Morgan from DAO? That's my pawn. Oh, really? Nice, dude. Instant higher if I see her. Hello there. Business with the guild, sir. I should be glad to assist you. All right, nothing new. Do come again. Uh, we need to turn this quest in, but I also need to hire some pawnage. So let's get that going, shall we? Okay. You know, look at this guy, Lewis. Lewis is an absolute chad. Look at him. Oh my god. Look at that guy. He's thick. All right, I need a mage, right? I need a mage. Do I want to hire someone that's, like, higher level than myself? I mean, I've got the RC. I've got 908s. Alright, Akira. You can Let's hire you. Me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. Pawn details. What was that specialization? I don't know the specializations at all yet, so... What is that specialization? Uh, chirurgeon? Chirurgeon? I don't know what that means. And I don't think there's a way to investigate that. Unless. Unless. Pawn who acquired the skill gains the initiative to use curatives on the Arisen and other allies. Aha. Well, that's kind of nice. You're hired. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Know if it's crossplay for pawns, I have no idea. 
Um, Keldy, what level are you? I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Uh, let me find another archer. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's try hiring a warrior. I want to see someone out there with a huge ass sword. If I need to come back and hire an archer, I will. Hello, Lewis. Chitara is the only one. Can I get a refresh on this? Is that a possibility? Search for a pawn. All right, this is cool. This is cool. It's like it's like his own search engine. It's going to give me results. Watch. They're going to come in. Oh, there's Cat. There you go. With a big ass claymore. Hell yeah. Fiona with a big claymore. We got cats. This guy's got like a special sword with like spikes on the end. But he looks like he's like part of Judas Priest or something. Alice, Agar, everyone's got the big swords. I was hoping to find someone with like a mall or something. This is the closest I can find to a mall. I want a big hammer guy. Big bonk stick. I think these are all very basic, uh, basic like two-handers. So let's go with Rob. I know precisely when a curative is needed, master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. All right, you've been great, Keldy, but you must go. Have an apple. I shall recall our travels every time I take this piece. She of actually hand. looks like another character from Dragon Age as well. I can't remember her name, but she's the uh she she has the chance of becoming the uh what is it, the knight captain or something? I can't uh, the guard Let us captain. Work together to honor the Arisen's trust. I think it's at the, uh, you meet her for the first time at the beginning of, uh, Dragon Age 2. Aveline, yes, Aveline, that's the one. I think a lot of these guys just have swords, and some of these guys have these other weapons that are semi, sword, and maulish. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see more variety as I level up, though. Alright, anyway. Let's get out of here. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Go on, have a look. Okay, let's go turn in this quest now. We ought to bring word of this to Captain Brandt. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? Um, yeah. Well, Aveline can cut a mountain with her jawline? True. Oh, sorry I didn't see that till now, Trippy Soul. Maybe next time when I'm looking. Here we are. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Alright, monster calling. You've done a fine job calling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Disa can no longer deny your presence, and ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Excellent work, Expeditioner's Master. cloak and 7,000 gold. Our duty to satisfaction. Indeed. Trying to take more quests from this guy. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true... While examining the palace ledger for evidence of a queen regent's misdeeds, 
I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it Take it easy, Coco. she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I c Yet, tis strange. The sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romond. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, okay. I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. Sure. I am glad to hear it. For I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deez's scheme and securing your enthronement. Let's see. Let's take a look at our quests here. Nameless Village, okay, and Scaly Invaders. Wait a few days, then return to Har Village. A few days time to see how it's getting on. Okay, let's prioritize this. It's just a little bit further east than where I just was, so let's set as priority and then just get out there. Let's a go. I'm having a blast playing this game, guys. I hope you're enjoying the stream. This ladder can take us to new heights. After you, Arisen. Did I just hear like a griffin fly overhead again, by the way? I forgot there's all like these little pathways everywhere. I'm just trying to like get out I of the heard city. Some interesting tidings about town. If you refer to changes in the military's make. I've heard the same. Indeed. Tell is, there's been a shift in the chain of command. Oh God. Oh, you know what? Um, <laughs> I just realized my max health is actually pretty low from that big fight we got in. I should sleep. I for gore. Where is Bedge? Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey. When oh, nice, Elgernon. I'll, uh, next time I look for some in people to hire, I'll let you know. Hear me complain about an early repose. It's going well, Co Rage. How have you been, man? How have you been? Where have you been? What's up? How you doing? Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Didn't I find a bug? I did. The old beetle. Hey, Victoria. Pawns learn, right? So does a hired pawn learn still learn more when being used by another player? Yeah. Yeah, the idea is that they can learn things over time. Areas that they've been to that you might not have been. They can show you things or point you in the direction of, like, chests that they found while hired by other players and whatnot. I'll take any chance not yep. That is all things. thing. An ox cart to make our journey easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Been kind of down lately, but I'm chugging along. I'm sorry, brother. It's good to have you here now. Hopefully we can take your mind off things for a while, you know? That's really cool, yeah. The pawns being able to learn and fill you in in your own world on certain things that you might not have seen yourself is pretty sick. I want to see how this Rob pawn does with that big ass is it like a hammer sword <laughs> i don't know i think it's just a different type of sword to be honest with just a little bit of extra flair at the tip that's the plan good to have you here with us man what up george love the game we are exactly same mission already 10 hours in the game is the first time i am even doing the side quest nice man very nice thanks for joining me
Okay. Looks like we want to take this path right up here. It's basically just going just where we were. We're going to take the northern path this time just to see if there's anything spawned up that way. You can also filter to higher pawns, then fall on the quest you've selected. That's pretty neat. The pawn system is pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. I'm only playing Forbidden West, but this game is definitely next. Are you playing on PC? If so, how's it running? I was going to play it on PC myself until, you know, I learned that it comes out a day before this. And since I've already played Forbidden West, I figured I would play something new. I, I enjoy Horizon games a lot. I still have a dream of a survival game based in the Horizon world, in the Horizon universe. Same combat system, maybe new skills that could apply to the, you know, survival atmosphere. Being able to have a build system like Rust or Grounded, you know? God, I think that'd be so sick. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Runs like a dream, perfectly optimized. That's good to hear because when Horizon Zero Dawn came out on PC, it was not optimized at all. I would to have to Sounds like they've learned, but which is great. I feel like this class that I'm playing, Thief, is perfect as someone that is really into Souls likes. Being able to like time your dodges and everything just really flows well with the idea of Souls likes in general. It's like the perfect class for this. Last time I tuned in, you had 27,000 subs. Congrats on over 50k. Ernesto, thank you for coming back, man. Good to have you here. From this distance, I cannot be sure. We should have and thank you for the kindness, man. Over to it. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. You really push it here. You're going to regret that. Okay, so they kind of talk shit, but I can't, like, deal damage to them, so... You really push it here, luck. Okay, so if I put my weapons away, they become friendly again. Okay. Much obliged. For you. With my thanks. Wow. Man just hands over a casual 2,500 Gs. Thanks, bud. Man's like, yo, open them pockets, bro. I know precisely what a curative is needed, master. <laughs> You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. That was unexpected. Okay, hey. I'm not looking for an archer right now. Otherwise, I would say, you know, join the board. Because the yeah, I, I don't have an archer, but I'm testing out the warrior approach place. right now. It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. actually runs really well. That's great to hear. I, I'm a big fan of the Horizon games. I think they're great. I'm very excited to hear that the PC launch is going well for you guys. Love to see it. Bit of a dead end here. So let's go this way. And so the whole reason I hired the archer to begin with is because the archer could easily knock them out of the sky. But now that I have Ensnare, I guess I'm that guy now. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. Look there. He thinks I spy ought of use. Let us ponder how best to proceed. 
Hmm. What's in the box? Oh, well spotted. Okay. Most impressive. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. Okay, so you see that? Akira, this hired pawn, just learned about the location of the chest. So now it can relay that information back to its master. So that way, if that player comes by this area again, it'll point it out to them. That's a great example. It just happened right there. That's sick. I'm glad the game notifies you in some way when you uh, teach a pawn something, too. That's sick? Yeah, it's a really cool feature, man. I might have to go off the path for this. This path is blocked off. Unless there's a, like a bridge over here, maybe. But I would say like it shows bridges here. And so if there was a path there, you'd think it would show. Great mechanic? I agree. That's pretty cool, man. Really liking this game, guys. Despite its uh, flaws, I am enjoying it. Time spent camping isn't necessarily time wasted. Oh, I see a bug down there. A beetle. Ingredients are plentiful. Uh, that's a minotaur. Oh boy. Let's get him. Oh, that thing just took like most of my health. Help me. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god. Keep the heels coming. Oh my god. Oh, I did dodge it. Nice. Yo, Bren, thank you for the gifted membership, man. What the hell? Come on, plant the heels. It's going to start charging around. Huge damage. Hell yeah. Three minotaur horns, a plumed cap, and a hunter's bow. You're well fond of picking things up. Huh? Thanks again, Brent, for the gifted one, dude. Dots under the health bar indicate how many health bars it has? Yes. Exactly it. We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. That thing was kind of nuts. We're gonna see if we can climb up here. I do see a way to go up that way, I think.
It certainly is a hidden village, isn't it? It is rather narrow here. Be on your guard. We ought to hasten our steps, lest we find ourselves trapped. Hmm. Hey, Galax. Yeah, that's the same, it's the same as Dragon's Dogma 1. Yep. Alright. I saw a dude down here. Looked like a merchant. Come to think of it, different masters favor different forms. One whom I serve preferred to have bistrums for allies. Now no. there's a thought. Hello? Nameless village, a mysterious settlement. Okay. Does the pathfinding exploration feel forced? Uh, in certain areas, the paths are very linear, and then others, it de definitely opens up, like being able to like find a different path around to find this hidden village, for example. So, yes and no. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? Yes. You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? What happened to your eye? There's no business to be had here. That's for sure. Okay, yeah, I believe you. Something's up with this guy. I'm, I'm telling you right now. That man just now seems rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? You yeah. You best go elsewhere, friend. There's no business to be had here. Alright, it says the same thing. Now, what was I supposed to do here? What was my quest? Uncover what you can of false sovereign's origins, then return to Captain Brand to apprise him of your findings. Okay, so we have to investigate the area anyhow. I'll go and open the chest. What's going on around here? Yeah, so why is he here? If there's not if there's aught here, or if there's something aught is wrong, rather. Is that who I think it is? Aye, I reckon so. Rather more common looking than I'd expected. I'm taking your dried fruit. It's a question of skill at the end of the day. So you say, but you wagered against our visitor, did you not? And I'd do it again. If Lazel's my main pawn picked up Melina as another, this game's so much fun. Nice. Fancy look at my wares. Well met, sir. Hey, mundane. How might I be of service? Bardish daggers. 22,000 gold, but they are a pretty hefty upgrade. I kind of want them. Hmm. That is a lot of money, though. Boost max stamina and the ring of tenacity as well. Ooh. All right. Let me continue looking around the village so I can think on this. I might want to buy that before we leave. We'll see. Do what do you think about 30 it? FPS on consoles? That shit's cringe. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough that is to cringe. The itch in my case. They should be higher FPS for sure. 60 should be the, the minimum in modern day gaming. All right, here's the nameless ah, inn. You must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Hi. Have you some business here in the village? Yeah, what's going on here? Ask about the village. You would know of our village. As you can see, it is a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Ask about Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> Tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least no one by that name lives here, sir. Right. I believe you. As you like, sir. 
There's some secret secrets going on around here. I'm telling you. If garlic on the window, vampires? Yo, maybe. Hello? I see a larger building over this way. Hold on. My lord spoke of you. Uh huh. Come on, follow me. I've something real nice to show you. That seems like bait, right? What up, into hizzy? I'm having a good time. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I will say they have a lot of a lot of chests here. I've not found this many chests in any other village yet. I mean, there's a few here and there, but there's a lot here. A lot. That's locked. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, bro? I'm gonna play Rise of the Ronin. I was thinking about maybe making videos on it, but now I don't think I'm going to. After taking a look at the game, seeing the gameplay and everything, it just doesn't really seem appealing. Old Noble Manor. What's up with you? Greetings. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You find me out far sooner than most. What do you mean? I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. Sure. I'm looting it up. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. Um, ask about the village. About our humble village seems strange to you. That is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. Oh, really? To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say... You have my approval as the thief master. Oh. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Does that mean you have an ability you can teach me? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see. And your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. Uh-huh. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else? Are you the shadow broker? Ask? ask of the false sovereign Arthur. Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? I mean, that's all I can ask, so. I, I was hoping he would have an ability to teach me, but he didn't. Say anything about it, you, so. sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate Ah, technique. okay. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it and do with it what you will. 
Legends Opus. Blades of the Pyre. Arisen's main pawn will also receive the same effects. Okay, Thief Maester's teaching Blades of the Pyre. I'll have to go to a uh, area to equip it, but teaching is a welcome boon for us pawns as well. I shall I'm glad we found that. From your example. That was sick. I might reach new heights of my own. That was very cool. Locked. Locked again. Is there any alternate way in the building? I mean, there's a chest out. There's just chests hidden everywhere here. We're going to keep searching around, man. I can get a lot of money by being here. Yeah, I can go to a campsite to uh, equip it. Yeah. Well, that was neat. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Let's see. What can we do without? Let's see. I was already in this building. This is locked. I feel like there might be something there. But also, there's the door at the top. Oh, I gotta go back up. There's a door at the top that was locked, too. I know the game said that maybe different times of day could help out with this, but... I could also just be overlooking something. Hmm. I don't see anything out here. This area is broken. Can I reach this? Is this place Oh, you know what? Actually, um help with this. I cannot help but ache for a scrap. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to Hey Billy, could you maybe launch me up here? Billy? Billy? Billy! There's still the investigative thing throughout the entire area here, too. No, I guess I can't get up there. He's not really doing anything. You wish me to return at once, Master. All right, maybe we'll uh, continue looking around the town. Welcome back, Elgernon. Yeah, the character creation of Baldur's Gate 3 will hold you for a while. This game can do it for you, too. Did I check this one? I did not. This letter is as suspicious as they come. We must find someone who could explain its true meaning. Okay. Yoinky. Did I miss a chest in here, too? Is there a chest on the outside, maybe? This is the, oh, you know it's the merchant. Never mind. You have anything to say yet? Why can't I interact with this merchant? He's clearly got the pack of a merchant on. There's something about this guy. Hey, Gara, thank you for another gifted member to the community, man. I appreciate it lots, dude. 
Went out to Anthony D. Thanks for doing that, dude. I appreciate it lots. But there's the investigative circle again. There's something more here the game is trying to show me, but I don't know what. I'm going to keep looking around. I've checked all the buildings aside from a couple of locked doors, but they didn't really do anything, so... Hey, thanks, Alp. Hope you're doing well, dude. Elgernon, thank you for gifting a membership to Biggie as well. Thank you, man. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. Trying to stay within the range of the circle. Ooh. All right. That was kind of a jump scare. What's up, Bavesh? Mm -hmm. We're back by this building again. Master. What's this? Fair all right without you for a little while. Okay. I suppose all we can do is wait. Why are they waiting outside? What the hell is this? <laughs> Did I just find an obstacle course? Is this American Warrior? What is this? Hey, what up, beep beep? How you doing? Hello there. Well, I found something, guys. I don't know. Oh, that's... What the... I didn't mean to do that. Okay, what's happening? Alright, cancel that. Go back up. What up, Zanes? start of the game today it's great do you have any tips make sure that you uh, have a good variety in your pawns it'll help you tackle a lot of situations the secret to dragon's dogma one and two both is to have a variety of damage so that we can take on and exploit the weaknesses of uh, larger enemies in a more effective way if you focus too much on one idea then you're going to be at a major disadvantage oh god don't fall don't fall got a little hype there Nice. First try. Okay. Hello? The I hell? After all. It's the guy! Dude, I told you! Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. I'm taking that. I told you there was something more going on here. You didn't disappoint, did you? 
You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. All right. About the decoy sovereign. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you the situation being what is. People complain about performance issues on PC. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, the only performance issue I seem to have is like crashes. His I've had three of them now. Dora. He was one of us once. Oh. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That's all you wanted to ask? Ask about Dara. For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. What up, Cyclone? But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Me thinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. He Dara bills oh Dara's bill of now, arrest. Okay. As to the Maester's teaching. Not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. Wait, so there's two maesters here? Or was the other one just kind of posing as one? Formless faints. Alright. Is it true you can't make a new character unless you pay $2 or whatever it is? No, that is not involved there whatsoever. The character, like just like the first game, you can only create one character. However, if you are on PC, you can manipulate the file to make it so you can make multiple. You just have to know how to do it. It's a workaround. Alright, so we got Formless Faint as well. We'll see what that is. Like the whole town's down here now. Even you, even the little girl's down here. Anything going on down here? Oh, we got the big loot room. Look at this. Thieves Gators. All right, some fish. We got rats down here. A tiger's eye. I'm not sure what a tiger's eye is, but... Health flares. Oh, are those more knives? Baggers of crude make, known to carve through the pelts of wolves with exceptional ease. It's only marginally stronger, but they do have a lot more knockdown power. Alright, they look cool. The ones that I could buy above from the merchant are much better, though. I'm still tempted to buy them. Alright, what's over here? I wasn't worried for a moment. Oh, that was the Wherever locked you door. Go, we pawns will always find you. I remember this woman sitting on the stool. And now we're going to be... Our yeah, this is the large building in the bottom part of the town. Okay. Surely we can ask for no nice. More than that. Interesting. Did you sell all your items because of carry where to storage them? It depends. I, I do store a lot. I haven't sold a whole, whole lot of stuff yet, but... You know, as time goes on, I want to sell more ways. and more. So these, the Bardish, Bardish Daggers, these are way stronger. Like, that is a marginable added amount of strength and knockdown power. It's a little bit less than half of my money to buy it, though. But I think I'm going to do it.
and then I can sell some other stuff that I just got. Sell some of these goods. All right, we got some money back. Not a whole lot, but some. Anonymous letter that bears the phrase, a piece of brass. Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier, and our purse is far lighter. Okay. Now, let's see. Let me put this on. Put those on. will put on the hat too oh no i can't so the show specific class it's plumed cape i'm assuming that'd be for an archer or something yeah it says archer on the right side i see that now okay for necessary expenses mind look at me clinging to every last coin look at me right, let me sell some of these other wait where'd the guy go <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. I pulled my knives out. They're pissed off that I did that. My mistake. Not much going on. Sorry, guys. They get really upset when you pull out your daggers. What you need of me. They get real mad. <laughs> now murder the well, village? Yes, Bruh. Alright. How might I be of service? Always a pleasure. All right, we got 41,600 some gold now. Um, let's go sleep at the inn and then try out uh, equipping some of these new skills that I got. We got two of them. It was like Blades of the Pyre and... This is it, of course. Nothing's free in this world. Formless Faint, I think. Brings the dag. Oh, that puts me on fire. Wreathing them in a blazing inferno so potent that the user cannot escape being burned. I mean, it, it, it does the big blast, but. Is setting myself on fire the play? I don't think so, right? Formless faints. Accelerates the user's reactions to an ungodly degree, enabling them to evade all manner of attacks from hostile targets. Consumes stamina while active. Wait, so does it automatically dodge for me? That seems OP. Let me try it out. What the hell? I have no issue falling. Good morrow, everyone. Off we Hello go, there. Then. I hope you slept well. Nope, oh, sorry, guys. Let me. Everyone here is a thief as well. <laughs> it's insane. Anyway, we got what we came for. We got to head back to town now. The city. It's like Ultra Ains Instinct, yeah. That's kind of insane. Though at the same time, I don't find dodging in this game to be too difficult, so it's like it just depends on how much value I end up getting out of it. If it ends up like really effective, then sure, but we'll see. Gotta catch me breath. It is rather narrow here. Be on your guard. I only hope we we've explored this place before. Or hadn't you noticed? How very curious. 
You guys see this path is actually complete now. They removed whatever was blocking this. I think it was like a, a cart or something. It's no longer there since I made it to the village. Interesting. Yeah, it's like the thief guild. Yeah. Bug. It isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. It is well to be prepared, but over preparation Bug. will serve us not. Oh, I see a cyclops across the way. A perfect moment to test out my auto dodge. Where's the bug at? Oh, it was a landslide. That's right. All right, Mr. Cyclops. Come here. Yeah, it automatically dodges for me. Fall. There you go. Oh my god, he just hit his head off the freaking mountainside. That was amazing. I tripped him up and he just biffed his face right on the side. A lot of breath, come on. God damn it. That was awesome. Yo, gut and run on his eye does massive damage, dude. That was sick. Also, this form was faint. It's annoying that it's a uh, like uses stamina quickly over time, right? But the fact that it automatically dodges for you is quite interesting. This guy was an Elden Ring, he would have wrecked you. Bro, I have done Hitless Fire Giant how many times? How many times? Literally dozens? If I can do Hitless Fire Giant, I can do Hitless Cyclopses, okay? No prob. The only issue I have now is I no longer have Ensnare. Which means that I, since I don't have an Archer on my team, getting things out of the air is going to be kind of annoying. But also, because of the way my stamina works, I need to take extra care as far as my weight goes. Billy, where are you? Oh my god. Okay, now we're back at average. Just trying to keep my weight nice and low so I have that much more stamina. The more weight you have, the less stamina you have. They're just here. Excuse me? 
over so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Does anyone know if um, when you go to advance your weapons, like uh, enhance them at a blacksmith, does it pull stuff out of your storage to do so? Or do you have to have the items on you? I would hope it would just pull items from storage, but I have a feeling it won't. Should you wish to pick your foes off from afar, you need look no further than an archer such as I. Okay. Nice pants. It does pull them out of storage? Nice. That's good. Good news. That makes life a lot easier when it comes to that, instead of running back and forth trying to grab items. Um, did someone just fall in the water? No, no one from my squad, I guess. Oh my god, that sword did huge damage. Well, some type of pawn just fell in the water, I think, because it did that red shit, so that's a thing. Oh. There's a griffin. Let's see if we can lure the griffin down. Come fight me. Get down here. I would love to fight you right now. It's circling me. It's kind of it's kind of like it's trying to hunt you. That's cool. Yep, it's fight time. Oh my god, it landed right on me. Help me! Heal me now! Come on. Thank you. All right, time for a brand new fight. All right, climb. Okay, that's an okay amount of damage. Up. All right, hit its wing a little bit there. Land, we damn it. To rush into Let us watch our foe to our Climb, damn it. Go. Ah. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Bro, it's spending so much time in the air, I can't get to it. You are there we go. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh god. I just got and run. Uh-oh. Hold tight. Oh shit. Oh god, I need heals. Oh, it's on its side. That was great. Heal me. I need heals. Screw it, I'm gonna heal myself. Oh, we're doing so much damage here. Oh, I just got and run again, dude. It actually kind of worked out, though. All right, it's big mad. Oof. Uh, is it about to cast electricity of some kind? 
Yep. It sure is. Dude, I gut and run every time it flies in the air. Oh, it just fell in the water. What the? An instant win? <laughs> I just gut and run and made it crash into the ground and it instant died. The problem is I can't get the loot. Damn it, dude. But it gave me a shitload of experience, I think. Yeah, what up, Grim Reaper? How have you been, man? It's been a while. Ah, uh, unfortunate no materials out of that. Would have liked to have seen what it could have granted me. Task failed successfully, yeah. Interesting way to go about that. Hmm. I was doing well, too. That sucks. But all the same, gave me a shitload of uh, stuff. Is there a way to see how much DCP I have? Not really seeing that anywhere. All right, I've got three, five, five, eight. I can't believe it. <laughs> Dude, gut and run is great because every time it flies in the air, I can just knock it right back down. The unfortunate part is it's risky because I can fly off onto the ground myself and take a huge, huge amount of fall damage, right? And obviously there's the risk of the idea of it falling into the water. Which means it does die and I get experience, but I also lose out on material. What are you guys fighting now? Is that a harpy? You got him. You got him. How have you been, Grim Reaper? And that fight against the Griffin was sick, too. If we are to break it, it shan't be from this side. Perhaps. All right, I see the healing items there now. Good call. I forgot they were on the D-pad too. Say that was very entertaining. Makes me want to play Monster Hunter so bad, dude. Like, this game is really making me want to play Monster Hunter. It's been a good time, Tidorus. Been a good time, bud. Oh. That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin, I swear it. I simply just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin, all of it, or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? Monster Hunter World playthrough when? Maybe we should do that sometime. Hasn't had anyone to show him the proper way, I'd wait, huh? 
As much as I enjoy Monster Hunter, I've never really been great at it. I would like to improve before, uh, what is it, Monster Hunter Wild comes out? Or Wilds? Alright, there's the sleepy man. What was that? Money. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. Truly? Quite. Though no definitive records remain. Well, I heard a rumor that you're a punk bitch. How do you feel about that? Was that too far? Is that toxic? Um, our boy's not here right now. Maybe we sleep until nighttime. How do you guys feel about uh, Formless Faint? On one hand, it's really good. Well, on the other hand, I would like to manually dodge, and I think that I, it's kind of worth holding on to for my stamina. Like, it's really good just kind of doing it automatically, right? But having that stamina drain really makes it difficult to really climb on top of enemies, too. Is an odd thing to wake after the sun has fallen. Shall we check our packs and be off? Shall we get underway? We shall. I think it's really good, but I don't know if it's for me. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Damn it, dude. I get so lost here. It's a complex little setup you got here, bud. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist. Hey, Arcade Ghost. How you doing? Oh, Skull Splitter. I didn't realize they had the upgraded version of it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Do I go back to Ensnare? I don't really care for Pilfer so much. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Ensnare over Formless Faint. I think Formless Faint is really good, but it's just not for me right now. Do come again. I'm doing all right, Arcade. Doing all right, man. Dude, navigating this little area is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> it leads to the same spot. There's a chest right there. This is what I want right here. There he is. Greetings, your majesty. Have you a moment to speak? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Emmer. If I, if I'm fine with manually dodging. It's not very difficult for me to pull off. It just feels like very fluid, so. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerades in the palace of late. 
The False Sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken, but may up approaching the False Sovereign at one of these I have the paper uh, you explaining who he is. Behind. What say you, Your Majesty? My to my thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you are fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Okay. Lunch is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Makes sense. So do I have to go buy clothing then? Is that what you're telling me? Or did you give me more clothing? I mean, I've got the mask. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to go buy some clothing for this. Like some noble attire or something. Which, where is the clothes salesman guy? We have the armory. Is there like a clothes place? Maybe Diviner's Salon? Let's try going to the salon. What's with the thumbnail? It's goofy as fuck. You're goofy as fuck, Safgod. How do you feel about that, dude? How do you feel about that, bud? Do, 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 do. Though I don't think this place is going to be open since it's nighttime. Where is this? Hello? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. Right. It's okay. Lovely to see you. So I thought maybe Diviner's Salon was like a salon for like clothing and hair and stuff, but no, it's more about the Diviner's thing than anything else. The Barbary. Let's try uh, the Armory. Yeah. Welcome to and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any like no clothes here either. No clothes in this one? Hmm. Well the way he described it, it made it seem like I would have to worry about my clothing. Like going in there with wearing chainmail might not be a good idea, you know. So before you check the price, just remember. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Anyway. No purchases to be made today, I see. Let's I just try to enhance to our look. knives here. You'll be glad you did. Actually, do you have knives? You do, but I have better. All right. There's that. I need knacker horns. I've not seen those yet. All right. Do come again. Quests. Okay, I um, I 
forgot to appraise him on my findings. I kind of got distracted by the other idea of another quest. Parkour, dude. Hey, Laura, how you doing? There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen, you will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deezer's misdeeds. I have attempted to do the same. Well, that I could undertake the... What say yeah. you, your majesty? I shall ensure that the door to the... Okay. Much we ought to tend to. Of all those who serve the... I refer to Walder many a time as... And many a is time it... as... Our laws dictate us. I don't know. What say you? We'll just accept all of these. The for you to... This mission demands Jail the key. secrecy. Should you be discovered, there is much we ought to tend to. If we have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? Okay, yeah, there it is. My god, it was the last one. This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces, and all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, your majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. There we go. Dragon's Gaze? What is that? Use the item known as Dragon's Gaze. Wakestone shards will be displayed on your map. Bear in mind, however, that the number and location of shards that can be found will change over time. Collect three Wakestone shards and they will be combined to form a Wakestone, a powerful artifact that can restore life to the fallen. Is this permanent? Does anyone know? Is Dragon's Gaze permanent upon use? Pawns are forbidden from entering the castle grounds, but we may accompany you to the entrance. No, I mean, uh, Ryan, I think if you, like, really look at the particle effects and everything, uh, the textures, the lighting, the shadows, what I think uh, a lot of people words get confused on when it comes to graphical fidelity is they're not looking at the finer details. For a lot of graphics, they are currently, like, overall pretty peaked. The real, looks sturdy enough to climb. The real idea you, behind Robinson. graphics at this point is higher textures... Uh, better shadows, better lighting, stuff like that. That's where we are in graphical fidelity. You're not going to find a whole lot improved upon this otherwise at this point in, in uh, graphical developments. Imagine being held in the dungeons. Make use of the key to receive you receive from Captain Bryant to pay him a visit. Let's go do this. We gotta go south. Tis a chest. Let us but, like, what you really want to pay attention to is work. like, look at the walls and see how many like little cracks and little nooks you can see in there. Like like you would in a real like cement and rock wall, right? You want to look at the the way that light plays on these structures as well, and how well the shadows represent the shapes that the lights are bouncing off of. You know, your own character shadow and how much it defines your own personal shape, including the flowing of the cape or your dress or whatever it is that you're wearing. You know what I mean? That's where in where increased graphical fidelity is at right now. 
Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. We shall remain. Restricted entry, there are some locations that are entirely off limits and others to which you will only be permitted entry at specific times of day. For instance, if a guard catches you on the palace grounds at night, you'll be apprehended and thrown in jail for trespassing. There are also certain locations that forbid pawns from entering the premises altogether. Masquerades are regularly held in Vernworth Castle's Masquerade Hall and may afford you the opportunity to make the acquaintance of important individuals. However, masquerades are formal occasions and you will be only permitted to attend if you are wearing suitable attire. In here. Is that enough? You are the Arisen, yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me. Okay. I guess we're gonna do this masquerade quest first. I don't really like giving games a numerical value uh, on a rating scale just because people will construe that into some negative way. If you don't give a game a 9 or a 10 out of 10, then they think it's bad when that's just not fair to say because that means that, you know, 8 numbers out of the entire scale are basically just useless. It is a game that I would recommend to play if you enjoy action RPGs. It is best you move along. Should one of the other guards espy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, your majesty. Uh, thanks. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't think I'm supposed to be in the guardhouse. But I'll take the goods. Oh, the marcher's set? Yoink. Not a great disguise. You got recognized straight away. True. Graphics seem average. The I I just don't agree. I just think that a lot of people have misconstrued ideas as to what makes good graphics. And they also weigh he too heavily on the game's quality and the graphics as well. A game can be good with still average or even bad graphics. I regret to inform you that there is no masquerade scheduled for today. Oh. The hell? What the hell do you mean? All right. Maybe because it's nighttime. I don't know. not something special about the graphics i don't i don't agree man i just don't like look at the lighting the lighting is pretty damn solid the only bad thing about the graphics that i've seen in this game so far is just a pop in think what you will but i just don't agree my sculptures have you who are you oh oh to think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. Yo, Dumar, I'm glad you enjoyed the Resident Evil 8 DLC playthrough, man. I love that game. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive. And would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you'd consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bakbatal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculptor's completion. A simple conversation. Saw games with better graphics, that's all. Week of searching never could. <laughs> Whom shall we speak with first? Other games having better graphics doesn't inherently make games with lesser graphics bad graphics, though. 
Like that that's not how the scale works. You don't grade graphics on a curve. <laughs> if this game looked like it came out in 2013, then sure, call it, you know, dated at that point, but it is much better than that. Go back to any game that released back then and then compare it to this and you'll see marked differences. Like that, that I'm sorry, but that's like this it's not graded on a curve. That's not how it works. <laughs> It's, it's not even average. Like, this is above average, for sure. I just think that what, what it comes down to is that you don't like the art style, which is a bit of a different conversation. Right? And so if there's no masquerade today, then I guess we go do the other quest. I dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. Yo, Breadloaf, thank you for the year of membership, man. I don't agree. Juice 2024. P.S. Thanks for all the generous non cult members for getting me to 12 months. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You know how long you'll be. Because Tsushima has better graphics. So it has a unique art style, but the graphical fidelity is not better than this. No. Tis not our no. Place to hurry the arisen. Not at all. When it comes out on PC, when it's released on PC, we can talk about it again then. But it does have a very different art style. They're not. It's not the same conversation, man. Hello, sirs. I would like to go to jail. So, you've come. Captain Brant bade me allow you passage. <laughs> Barbaric disdain. I'm glad you're enjoying them, man. Glad you like them, dude. Any tips for want someone wanting to play the first game and then this one? Just make sure that you have a good variety of pawns in your in your group, so that way you can handle lots of different uh, things going on. If you focus too much on one type of damage, then you'll end up at a disadvantage. Oh yeah, gameplay over graphics all day, yeah. Which the gameplay of this game really shines when it comes to fighting the larger monsters. It does have its lulls, like right now, where it's more on the slower, quiet side of things, right? Are you the guy? I mean, there's a lot of jail cells here, but... Have you come to release me from this jail? Hey, Waldar, yeah, this is the man. Who are you? No. Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Or, Deezer's arisen is false. Or, you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Um, I'm wearing a masquerade map. Ah, Mask, is that proof enough? They say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. What's up, young? How have you been, dude? By that mark, it seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During Were you the alive then? Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be... Ah, a Crusoe. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Would you like this game if you played FF16? They are very different in how they play. Like, I enjoy this game, but I don't like FF16 at all. But that doesn't mean that you can't like both. It just, you know, they are pretty different. 
Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. Oh. All right, what's the next step in the quest? When prepared to leave his cell, if you can find him a place of refuge fit to quench his thirst for knowledge. Right. Find a place with plenty of tomes. Here's the thing. Those guards never saw me open that door, but the music here is still intense, so I think that I do have to be stealthy about working with this guy. I think if they see me trying to free him, they're going to get pissed off. We played Dragon Age Inquisition. I liked it, yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I'm a big Dragon Age fan. There's even a lot of parts of 2 that I enjoyed. Aside from, like, the repetition of the, uh, you know, like, the repetition of the used areas and character models and a lot of the story, overall, I still feel like the game has a good place in the Dragon Age franchise. I just wish it got treated better overall as a um in, in the, the development process it deserved better for sure but i will say that the combat was good and dragon age inquisition took a lot of notes from that combat and advanced upon it further enjoyable game specifically inquisition is an enjoyable game is what i'm saying here um but i i I have a big soft spot for Origins. Really like that game a lot. Okay, so we have to find a place to quench his thirst for knowledge. To me, that sounds like a library. Does anyone know of a library in the city? Where would there be a library? I don't know. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? Yes, perfect. And it's been uh, right around 10 years since Inquisition came out, huh? The border. Bordelry? The Bordelry is an establishment that caters to the vices of the nobility and the wealthy elites. A card of membership is required to gain entry to the Bordelry, and its services are only available to those who can afford them. Courtesans to please of various tastes can be found on every floor, but the services of those on the third floor are not available to new visitors to the establishments. Only prized patrons who make frequent use of the Bordelry's Bordelry's services are entitled to purchase the platinum card that will allow them to enjoy the company of these exclusive courtesans. You'll pray. Take yourself elsewhere. All right. Our services are only available to members of this establishment. How'd you know I'm not a member, man? What the hell? I'm wearing a mask. How do you know? How do you know? Um. don't really know where this quest wants me to go. Surely there's somewhere in the city that has a lot of tomes for him, but I just haven't seen anything as of that, as of yet for that. I don't know, man. Well, let's just go do this then. Flip into the palace to the rear gate between the hours of midnight and dawn to search the Queen Regent's office for incriminating evidence. It would seem we have a need to visit the palace. We're in the vicinity. Why not do it? 
A little bit of spying never hurt anyone, right, guys? Surely. We have reached our destination. We gotta find a way through the other side. Can't go in through the front door. This is where she pointed me before for the other quest, I guess. So this is where I would go. I want to crouch so bad, but there's like no way to crouch in this game. Well, this area is grand. Was a new armor set you got? It's um, it looks like stuff for fighters. I should give it to my uh, my dude. Billy. Hello? Courtly breeches and courtly tunic. I wonder if I could wear those to a masquerade. That's actually perfect. That's a good find. Who's there? Hey, Sven. Uh -huh. Pray, keep your voice low. Twouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. It was never my intent to deceive you. I've simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. It is clear that we are allied in purpose. Right. My word. You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Oh boy. Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest. But I've a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. Okay. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. All right. Well, I'm glad I um, looted the other room first. And we're out of there, dude. We are out. I recognize that bald head anywhere. There he is. There's the son of a bitch. Yeah, let's give this marching set to Billy. See what it looks like on him. Come here, Bill, Bill. Come here. Hey, why? Why are the workers' greaves better? Oh. I mean. That's a little bit better. Dude, that sucks. What do you look like, though? I mean, he looks like a. Like a soldier now. Where are you going? Come here. I want to look at you. 
All right, Billy's looking badass, but unfortunately the stats are a little bit lesser than what he had on previously. But at least he's got the helmet on. The helmet's a little bit better. We almost suffer <laughs> for the fashion. You know, I kind of want to, but like... Last thing I need is my, my tank out there dying, you know? Alright, let's go uh, turn this quest in, shall we? Maybe hey, I was supposed to wear it as, as a disguise. Yeah, quite possibly, but luckily I didn't really run into any this resistance. This can take us to new heights. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Above? Hello, Brandt. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. A place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo, you say? Not springs to mind, I'm afraid. Kendrick of the Gracious Hand is versed in many things. Perchance he knows of such a place? All right. There is much we ought to tend to. How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? This scrap. It was part of a letter. And from Batal, no less. This alone can prove little, but it is clear that these schemes run deep. To think, these actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing these focus, we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well. Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I'm able to offer, I bid you take this. What could the Queen Regent All right. This is there is much we ought to tend to. Ah. There is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. Is there aught else you would speak of? Your Majesty. Okay. Don't forget that we would. Pray, follow me. I think that uh, the clothing I found a little while ago should be sufficient as far as uh, sure getting into the masquerade. What up, Trey? I am enjoying this game a lot. It's a good time. It does have its slower moments, like right now, but it's still fun. I mean, that does look better. Alright. Attend the masquerade. I wonder if it told me there was no masquerade because I wasn't wearing the right clothing, or if I have to wait for a certain time. Does it say specifically? Let me read that a little more thoroughly. Attend a masquerade and seek an opportunity to draw near the false sovereign, but in order to gain entry to the masquerade hall, you must first dress in formal raiment and don a mask. Well, hopefully uh, what I've got on. It does say courtly, so you would think that would be enough. You know, hood for better disguise? Yeah, hopefully they don't recognize my bald head. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Okay, buddy. I suppose all we can do is wait. Masquerades generally happen in the evening. Maybe there's one bright and early in the morning going on. Hello? Nope. 
nothing happening. Hey. You're welcome to toss a coin or two my way. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, bro? Playing through Alien Isolation again. Now I can ship myself with a good frame rate and 4K. That game holds up really well for the from uh, the time that it came from. When did it release? Like 2014 or something? That game was definitely far beyond its time. Okay, so there's Courtly Breaches and Tunic again. Same thing I have going on right now. Bunch of flowers. Well, it's bright and early in the morning. Makes sense that there's no masquerade going on right now. Maybe I go wait for nights. Isn't there... Where's a bench I can sit at? I don't see one around. Holy crap, does it ever, ever? Alien Isolation 2 when? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I would love to see a follow-up for that game. Uh, doze off. How do I tell what time of day it is? Aside from sunlight, of course. Is there a way? Let's just wait for nighttime. Really nice game on the eyes? Yeah. The only thing that's kind of weird for me is, uh, like, the grass. Like... Here we are sitting now. The grass gets kind of fuzzy because of DLSS, which makes sense. Like, DLSS helps, you know, enhance frame Apologies, rate via master, fuzzing things up a little bit. For the time being. Outside of that, I really like of the look of this game overall. I like the art style a lot. Ah, we have a masquerade. We are masquerading. Our first sovereign in decades. Last, we will see the end of the age of proxies. Have you heard? There's to be more restrictions Indeed. on goods traded... Showed that guy walking down this hall. What was that? I'm seeing things. It showed a guy walking down the hall here. I would assume that was the false sovereign, but like, look, that, that's another, okay, two things, the grass and the poppins. The poppins are strange. Hey. Another fancy party hosted by the Arisen. Mm. Why, you're... No. Pay me no mind. We who are gathered here are naught but nameless nobles. It would be uncouth to inquire after another's identity. Right. So it wouldn't do to meddle in each other's affairs here. I'm frightfully busy. No time for idle chatter. Yeah, you look busy, man. Well, that guard just hopped. Did you see that? Um, 
We must be early. This party's not really popping right now. Surely these extravagances cannot continue. For the one true arisen, then who is the man now sitting on your rightful throne? Seek an opportunity to draw near the false sovereign, but in order to gain entrance to the Masquerade Hall, you must first dress in formal raiment and don a mask. We have that going on right now. So I guess we just gotta wait for him to show up. Am I, to do? I mean, more part people are coming in. Everyone who dances with me complains of sore feet. Maybe you're not a good dancer. Maybe you're stepping on too many toes. You ever thought about that? You ever thought about that? Maybe don't step on the toes? Locked. This is quite the Who shows up to a party on time? Yeah, that's a good point. Sorry for the neighbor's extremely loud car. I thought that was a person. Is this fast truly to the sovereign's taste? I don't know, man. Is it? What do we think? Where the hell's the sovereign? Methinks I'll have a rest. My feet ache from dancing. Oh, you must must have danced with the other girl. I shan't let anything spoil my evening. Might as well make merry while the wine flows. Wouldn't do to meddle. If you've naught to say. Where is the sovereign? Another ale can't make. Wouldn't do to. Methinks I'll have a rest. Okay. We who are gathered here are naught. This is the only guy that really engages in deeper conversation so far. What am I missing here? Do I just need to like do a quick two step and maybe it'll clear things up? If you are in need of aid, hey. pray, say the word. Where is this guy? You're not the guy, are you? No, you're the guy that was saying that maybe it's not to the sovereign's taste. Is he hiding in one of these back rooms? I don't understand. So tired. I can't just about What is going on? I'll tell you what, uh Alien Isolation changed my perspective on horror games forever. I wasn't really into horror games at all until I decided to give that a go based on other people's recommendations when I was uh, pretty early on in my streaming career. I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll try it out. People keep talking about it. Sure. And so I finally did. And when I did, I was enlightened in that moment. What a game. I've been much more open to trying more horror games since then. Not that I've been a big fan of most of them, but still definitely opened up my eyes on that and allowed me to be more open-minded about horror games in general yeah i am not really seeing what i'm missing here maybe the clothing i'm wearing is not formal enough See, the thing about that is, Laura, is I can go into system and the options and graphics and turn off DLSS. And it will make things a little bit more crisp, a lot more sharpness, but also it absolutely tanks the frame rate. You see what I mean? So while I can have more crispness, it also makes it so it's just kind of... It's worse on the eyes as far as the frame rate goes. The 
DLSS kind of uh, fuzzies things up just a little bit so that way the frame rate goes up dramatically. Surely these it's a balancing act, yeah. It's a bit of a trade-off that I find pretty worth it, just so that way it's nice around the eyes in the frame rate area. I cannot find this guy. I do not know what I'm looking for. I, I just have to assume that my clothing is not formal enough. Though, if I compare myself to the other men here, yeah, he's got, like, robes on. I do not have robes on. That guy is not too different from what I have on, though. I would say my clothing looks nicer than his. His is, yeah, his is basically the same as mine, just different colors. So I really don't know what's going on here. <laughs> that is true, Algernon, that is true. Has anyone uh, in chat done this quest? The masquerade one? What am I supposed to do here? Like, I thought maybe I wasn't wearing nice enough clothes, but then these other people have the same clothing set that I do, just different colors. Like this guy. It's the same thing, but green. Let me talk to the musicians, yeah. I think to do. This shows far from earth. Okay. Is it my weapons? What is life? Oh, everyone's leaving. <laughs> Masquerade is over. See, I see this guard looking at this wall back here. Yeah, I was looking at that too. But I didn't like Is there all you require? Eh. Okay. That's locked now though. Alright, we gotta come back another time tomorrow night. I see now. God damn it. I saw the guy walking back here, and that was that. So I, I didn't think it was the clothing for two reasons. One, the masquerade started. When I wasn't wearing the right clothing, the masquerade wouldn't start. And second, my, my clothing is pretty much the same as a few other people there, just different coloration. Ah, good. You returned. I find myself on edge when you stray from my line of sight. Man's got separation anxiety. Let's try this again. Let's get another masquerade going the next night. Try no clothes. What is this? Going for the three fingers? Flame of the Frenzy? I gotta pay $1.99 to a bat for a pass to the ball. Aha. I see. Alright, we try again. Also, I'm putting my knives back on. Oof. My pack's grown rather. We're here, master. You have to dance with Ebris Celine. Remember the first time I did that quest, I thought it was so lame. It adds a, like a lot of lore to the game overall, and there's a lot of stuff to discover there overall too, so it's not like it's a complete loss, you know? Just the first time I did and I didn't enjoy it much. Damn. Might sound blasphemous, but it might be your beard. Is it not late enough yet? Has the party not yet started? Is there not a masquerade today? Is there a specific day of the week or month where there's masquerades? What's going on here? 
Is it not late enough at night? Slow burns drawing from the Grey Warden quest where it's all hype through and through. Yeah. All right, let's just go for the next day. What up, Undecay? How have you been, man? Why does the Arisen not actually help us complete any quests? All he does is try to party. He's an absolute party animal. I've been doing well, Undecay. I've been doing well, man. Do you know how long you'll be? I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Yo, whoever's pawn is named Rob, you gave that man serious separation anxiety. What's going on there? We have a masquerade. I find dressing for these occasions he just sits there all day until it's party time. There we go. Oh. I meant to do that. Look at this chest, guys. I meant to do that. It's fine. I just wanted to get that fairy stone, you know what I mean? I needed that. Very good. Very good. We got it. Don't worry about it. Wait right there. Nice. Thanks for the heals. We shall wait here till your business is done. Oh, we can't go in that way. Okay, so I got to be careful when running through new doors that I've not yet been through because apparently there's sudden ledges. Took a header right off that real quick. Surprised I lived. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> How's it compared to Elden Ring? Very different games. They're not very comparable because of how different they are. They don't really cover the same idea. In my head all that time, I lived, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Should I turn on my lantern? It's dark out here. Aha. Uh -huh. Well now, you're Whoa. What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. I'll scout all the black and here. Open up. Yennefer vibes. You're dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business have you here in the noble's playground? Hmm? Huh? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, 
Would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check, lest you forget these celebrations of your valor. Are but a pretense for more serious matters? See the scar on his I chest, know. but it's not the I same do. as mine. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. He's the one that was uh, a little more specific in conversation in the, uh, the hall. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? I don't know. You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. <laughs> what up, Benino? As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time, if you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. She must run the uh, the other building that I was at earlier. Yep, Rose Chateau Bordelry. Vermicolion card? Is that what that said? Alright. So basically it's just like a back entrance connecting the two buildings. I see. Hello? Any secrets in here? Governing soul. Another spell tome. I'm gonna loot up the place a little bit before I leave. Yeah, it just connects the building back here. Got it. I see. Do not fall off. My god, my character is way too willing to jump up off that ledge. Jesus. <laughs> jump? Okay, I'll jump. Stability extract. Wonder what they would need stability extract in a building like this for, huh? bunch of flowers. Hey, nice to see you again. Oh god, Elkernon. <laughs> oh, this one's locked. Oh, that was the other room that they were in, I believe. That makes sense. Hello? Wicking Remedy. Stability extracts to prevent you from diving off the balcony? Yeah, I really need that right now, apparently. My god. Salubrious draft. Hello? Not every room has something. Oh, that was the mysterious third floor I was on, too. Shit. I need the platinum card to get up there. I am not a platinum card holding member of this establishment quite yet. Maybe we'll get there one day. 
More stability extract. Come across a come across a pawn named Zod. That's a warrior. That's mine. Nice. Very nice. Yo, Dunnage, thank you for four months of membership, dude. Or subscription, rather, on Twitch. Words are hard. Thank you, man. I'm just looking to uh, loot up the place. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. I'm taking this book. Prescribed Tranquility. And that's what I'm, I'm thinking as well, Bavash. Hey, Hamadi, how you doing? Looks like we've been on Twitch longer than four months. I think it's about to approach the fifth. Greetings, Master. Is this where you've been all this while? Um. Our party is reunited. Maybe. Surely we can ask for no more than that. Okay, let's put on our other armor. Very good. Hold on. Where's my flowing cape? We can still use the cape. It's fine. He <laughs> busted, yep. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I love how the pawns judge are judging me. Come on, man. I was doing investigative work, okay? <laughs> Take that as you will. But I was doing investigative work. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. Do, 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 do. What the? What the frame drop? Oh, hey, I'm not supposed to be back here. Sorry. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. Tell them of the masquerade. Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect some other would simply be made to take his place. But if there's aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? Yes. He seems a man of import, and yet I have never heard of him. Pray. Allow me to investigate this matter further. You've done well, Your Majesty. Thank you. So the false sovereign, Queen Regent Deesa, there All is right. much we ought to tend to. I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, Your Majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard, a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from Prime Eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. All right. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? Yes. I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. Man said pray and ought in the same sentence. I, uh, I'm starting to think they did this shit on purpose. We shall see this matter to a successful conclusion. Pray. Ought pray with me. Alright. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a save. This is a great spot to leave off for the night gamers. When I come back tomorrow, we'll pick up right where we left off. We got some more adventuring to do. Look at all these quests. Look at all this. We have a mysterious figure who's been shadowing me. 
We got some more palace stuff. We got to return to Harv Village and see how they're doing since we freed them of the uh, Saurians. All that stuff. Maybe there'll be more Saurians over there to fight. Probably. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Hope you enjoyed your stay. This game has been a very fun time to play. And of course, sharing the experience with you all. It's been great. I will see you all tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time, to pick up where we left off right here. All right? Until then, be excellent to each other. Have a good night, folks.